If there ever was a story that encouraged a trip to the dentist, this just might be it. Fortunately, the procedure is painless, and it just might even save your life. Our New York Bureau Chief Rick Lockridge joins us live. Rick? Michaela, oral cancer strikes 30,000 Americans annually, killing almost a third that many. Heavy tobacco and alcohol users especially at risk. Detection rates for oral cancers, uh, for other cancers, have gotten better, but not oral cancers. And as you'll see in our hot click, a new diagnostic tool for oral cancer might change that. Oh, these hibiscus are so beautiful. Nancy Leopold believes she's still around to enjoy her garden because an alert dentist discovered her oral cancer early on. Still, she has suffered. And they removed the entire floor of my mouth, uh, 13 teeth, and some of my uh, lower jawbone. And all you're going to feel is you're going to feel this gently rubbing. Now, this simple brush biopsy promises earlier detection of mouth cancers before something as innocent looking as this, or this, can turn into this, or this. And without having to cut into the mouth, the painful and infection-prone surgical biopsy. We'll have the results back in two days. Cells gathered by the brush are analyzed under a computer-controlled microscope programmed to red flag anything that looks abnormal. It affords the dentist the opportunity to take an area that looks suspicious and test it with a very non-invasive test. It doesn't hurt. It's not very expensive. Good morning, Spunk. Nancy Leopold now runs a nationwide support group for oral cancer survivors. She hopes the brush biopsy leads to many more survivors. And if it is a tool that, that can detect cancer at an early stage, um, that's the clue for, for survival. Now, if you're wondering why the test isn't routine, it's because your dentist has to have a suspect bump or lesion to swab first. You can't just swab the whole mouth. But if you have something that feels out of place in there, something that wasn't a bite or caused by a burn, well, you know what to do now, Michaela. Absolutely. Always ask your dentist. Let's talk about costs, though. Dentists, we know, are not cheap. Is this something that our insurance plan should cover? Yeah, and it's not really that bad. About $75 for the test, another $75 for the dentist fee, and it is coverable by some insurances, but of course you want to check yours first before you commit. All right. Commit. A great story, Rick Lockridge. Thank you so much for bringing it to us. If this story has you worried about oral cancer, head to techlive.com. We have a complete online guide to identifying and diagnosing the mouth disease.